I'm Tia Bourne with Mining IR, and beside me is James Sykes, CEO of Baseload Energy Corp. James, it's so nice to, to sit down with you at the end of the day. Yeah, day I know. two, Thank end you. of the day. It was a busy one. It was, it was. Thanks for having me, and of great course. to talk with you. Yeah, I'm excited to hear about what your plans are and what you have going on right now. Um, let's dive right into your current flagship project. Let's talk a bit about that in detail. Okay. Our flagship project is Accio. We discovered it in 2021. It's a near surface high grade uranium deposit with mineralization starting as shallow as about 25 meters beneath the surface. We're close to infrastructure, mostly, uh, well, the, yeah, we're close to infrastructure, uh, pre existing mill, roads are in the area, so we think that we've got everything going. We're just trying to get to a mineral resource phase or mineral resource estimate for Accio while also exploring the depth potential that exists there. And you discovered some high-grade uranium at the Hook Project. Yep. Can you tell us about your key findings there? Yeah. Well, again, with Accio, we've got shallow mineralization, but we're seeing uh, we're seeing mineralization in a number of different pods, and we're starting to see some of those pods occurring along the same structures, uh, indicating that that they could be linked up from near surface down to depth. So there's a lot of potential to to really keep moving this project forward. And I guess more recently, we put out. We put out some high grade results uh, where we hit eight meters over one percent in hole 102. That's in a strike extension in an area that had never been drilled before. So we think that there is a good high grade corridor uh, that that we still have to follow up on next year. And I was going to say, what does this mean for 2024 for you? 2024 means we've got a lot of drilling to do. We really want to get to that resource estimate, so we're going to put a lot of a lot of drill holes back into Accio. We have about 10,000 meters planned right now. That'll change in the future. But yeah, we, most of our drilling will go into Accio. We've got four other projects and we will be putting drill holes into them. While the market is hot, we want to make another discovery while still building on that resource. And we think that that would elevate us above all of our peers in the uranium sec in the uranium exploration space. And what does the health of the financial health of the company look like? Fantastic. It's Good. Absolutely healthy. We came to this conference not to raise money. We actually came to this conference to promote awareness and for to find investors for looking down the road because we just recently completed a ten point seven million dollar raise, uh, you know, within an hour of announcing it. So we're fully cashed up. We have an eleven and a half million obligation to spend next year for for flow through. So by December thirty first, twenty twenty four, we have to spend eleven and a half million dollars. What a crazy situation! To have hey, money I to know spend, that you it's have like, to spend. You have to spend this money. It's like, oh, geez, that's such a hard thing to do. Well, I guess we got to go drilling. I wish someone would say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be drilling a lot, and that's that's the whole objective. Uh, otherwise, we've got about 17 million in the bank in total. So we're we're well cashed up to see many years through. Now, baseload has been noted for exploring basement hosted deposits rather than traditional and conformity controlled type deposits. How does this position you differently in the marketplace? We think that the basement hosted deposits, especially near a surface, have the ability to go into production much quicker than the typical unconformity ones because there's no water issues. Mm. So those unconformity deposits are all hosted under a sandstone and that sandstone's a sponge. And it's been proven that when you try to mine these things at depth, you can flood your mine, which happened to two mines twice, or you can't even get access to them because just the water pressure and the water volume is too great on a daily basis. But if you if you ignore the sandstone and you get out and just do basement hosted mineralization, there's no there's no water issues to deal with. So we think those those are the deposits of the future for the Athabasca Basin area. And what are your immediate exploration plans? What does that look like? Lots of drilling. Again, Lots with that eleven and a half million, we have a lot of drilling to do on Accio. All of our other projects, we're just going to push the envelope and continue really continue trying to make this company. Uh, you know, the most successful uranium company out there. And have you encountered any risks or challenges along the way? And if so, what have you been doing to mitigate those? Not really, no. Yeah. Everything, Everything's pretty streamlined. It's pretty all good smooth. to go. Yeah, yeah, no issues. Great position to be in. Absolutely. We're in the right space where you can raise money. We've made a discovery on our first drill program. We're a young company with not, we're not heavy on the dilution side. So yeah, we're, I think we're well positioned and no risks moving forward. Amazing, James. Is there anything else that you would like to say to our viewers? Yeah, if you're not familiar with Baseload Energy, I encourage you to check us out. We think we've got one of the most exciting uranium stories in the space. Our stock ticker is FIND. That's on the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture. And BC, BSENF on the OTCQB. 
You can also follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn. You can connect to me directly at jsykes, J-S-Y-K-E-S, at orgroup, O-R-E-G-R-O-U-P dot C-A. James, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much.